Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Mathematics and let's try to solve this really interesting, great, relaxing question. So as you can see, nothing hard, we don't have any powers, we don't have any huge powers, we have like a regular mass expression. We have all the time 6, we have plus, we have multiplication, we have division, so as you can see, all common mass operations, okay? And I just wanted to rewrite this question, we have 6 plus 6 times 6 divided by 6 and plus 6. All the time we have really di different mass operations, we have addition, multiplication, division. But here is the main question, what we need to start with? We need to start with addition, we need to multiply it first, we need to divide it first, and what is the second operation? We need to multiply, divide or add right here. So as you can see, a lot of combination. But in mass we are interested only in one correct answer, because we cannot solve this question like with two answers. Yeah, We cannot say that this equal to 12 or 24. We cannot say like that, because we need to find one and the correct answer. Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question I have this PMDMC order of operation in the world. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to this order. And I would say that I respect every order of operation, I respect board mass, I respect different order of operation, but in, in this case, exactly in this case, it doesn't matter what order of operation we select, we will have like completely the same answer. So if you choose bot mass, if you choose PMDMC, we will have completely the same answers. Okay, let's solve this according to PMDMC. This uh, uh, mass operations order works from the top to the bottom and we need to go through the steps real quick. We have the first step, parentheses. Let's look at it. What about these parentheses? We don't have any parentheses. Yeah, we don't have any parentheses because we I don't see any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. But before I solve this question, you can easily pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer? It will be really interesting to check our answers. And uh, of course, let's let's continue. Okay, we don't have any parentheses. Let's go to the next step. What about exponents? What about exponents? I don't see any squares, cubes, we don't have any huge powers right here and we can easily skip this part with, with exponents. It's really good for us because parentheses and exponent, this like complicated step, if you have parentheses, for example, imagine you have these parentheses and to the power 20, yeah? This is like easy question and we don't have any parentheses and exponents part. Let's go to the next step. What about multiplication? And a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, now we need to multiply it first. But I want to say a really great thing, because multiplication, we need to look at this in the perspective of a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. So we cannot multiply it first, then divide. Yeah, we cannot do it like that, we need to look at it as a group, so we need to find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Signs, in our case, right here we have multiplication multiplication sign and the next time this is division sign. So we, we are interested in this expression because addition and this addition, this is our last step. So addition and subtraction, this is our last step. We are not interested in this and saying in other words, uh, we don't need to look at PMDMC if, you, if we need to add at uh, only three or four numbers. It's re really easy for us. But uh, right here we have multiplication sign and division sign, okay? But here's our main question, what we need to start with? Multiplication or division or division then multiplication, so a lot of combinations right here, but here's my answer. We need to look what is the first sign from left to right, okay? According to PMDMC, we need to look at it, what is the first sign from left to right, doesn't matter, you have multiplication, division, division, multiplication, look at this first sign, right here we have the first sign multiplication, so we need to multiply it first, this expression, so we have 6 plus 6 times 6 equal to 36, and divided by, divided by 6 and of course plus 6 in the end right here, and I need this line because we, we didn't add it right now, so we, right here we need this line, and this is our last step, we complete this step is multiplication, because this is the first sign from left to right, we complete right now this step with, with division, because 36 times 6 divided by 6 equal to 6, so we have 6 plus 6 and plus 6 equal to 18, yeah, we have we have 18. So we complete this step, this step, and the last step addition. This is the really easiest step right now, and we don't have any subtraction. So as you can see, we just solved it according to PMDMC. It implies that uh, right here we can easily uh, find our answer according to this PMDMC, and our correct answer is option option C. But I want to show you a great math trick if you like don't um, interested in this PMDMC or board mass or whatever word of operation you you want. So a great math trick right now if we have this expression, take a look closely. We have six plus six times six divided by six, 
and plus 6. Take a look closer. Right here we have multiplication by 6 and division by 6. So then in another world we just multiply and divide. So it looks like you give 6 pan and you take away your, your 6 pan. So it changed nothing. So we can easily cancel this, this step. And as you can see we have 6 plus 6 and plus 6 equal to equal to 18. So our answer, I write right here our answer, our answer equal to equal to 18. So this is my explanation to this question. This is option C. I hope you understand this explanation and I wish you all the best. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you understand this explanation and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care of yourself.